Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at this smallest Coachman Leprechaun. That's actually kind of funny, because Leprechauns are small. But the smallest Coachman Leprechaun that they have for 2020. This is the 2020 Coachman Leprechaun Model 230FS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV reviews it's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited to show you the smallest coachman leprechaun that they have to offer the 230 FS now before we begin I would like to say hi to Andrea hi everyone hey Andrea how's it going good just a little tired today yeah you're tell everybody that you're cranky and you're yelling at me earlier yes I'm Cranky, you guys. I was up with our dog at 2.30. She was crying because she had to go pee and poop, and so couldn't get her back to bed till 4, so I haven't had much sleep. <laughs> and I've been suffering the consequences, uh -huh. but it's all good. We're here, and we're making videos. Great. So model is 230FS, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 26 feet 6 inches. This is built on the Chevy chassis. Now, check it out, Ralph. Now, this is a Coachman Leprechaun. But I feel like it's not like a real leprechaun. It doesn't have those nice features. I feel like there's two types of leprechauns. The cheaper leprechauns on the Chevy chassis and then the better leprechauns on the Ford chassis. Just make sure you watch your finger there. But uh, this one's on the Chevy chassis. It's the 6.0 liter V8 with 341 horsepower. Woo! And uh, you do have the bunk over the cab. Also, there's one full wall slide out. You know, the cargo carrying capacity on thing is crazy. Oh, is it? 3,528 pounds. That's America right there. And it's Canada. Yes. So right here we got the tires. Oh man, these are the general Gerber tires. LT225-75 R16. Man, this wind's crazy today, huh? It sure is. Coming down the side, uh, we have a awning down the whole side of the motorhome. Nice awning. Let's see what it looks like when it's all the way out. Good size awning. Yeah, nice awning. Great size for such a small motorhome. And Andre, you can really see how windy it is. This awning is going everywhere. Yep. So I'm gonna retract the awning. Yes. Great. So the batteries are low, so we had to turn the generator on. But uh, because this is a Coachman motorhome, you do have the Asdale sidewall composites right there. You do have a little place for solar. Over here, here is your propane tank. It is a 68 pound propane tank. Also, we will have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank size, swifts, everything down in the description below. Here's your water heater here. Finishing up down the side, right here you do have a power plug. This is a coax for a TV if you wanna have it on the outside. And then right here's your low point drain. And then this, we do have a propane quick connect right there. Coming around the back. Oh no, no ladder to get up on the roof. Thank goodness. Whamp, whamp. Uh, but you do have a nice bumper. Look at this bumper. This is a great bumper right here. Great place to put your stinky slinky. Right here is your city water connection, all your hookups. You do have a 5,000 pound hitch in this motorhome, can tow 5,000 pounds. Also, right up there, you do have a backup camera. Finishing up with the driver's side. We got a little oh, wow. bit of storage right in there. Yep, very nice. Right over here. Oh man, that's a pretty decent oh, yeah, amount of storage. Back there. Nice 30 amp power cord and everything. Right there down below is where you dump your black and gray tank dump. And then right here is your fuel. It is 80, uh, not 80, 57 gallon fuel capacity. And then right there, that's where you hook up your 30 amp power cord. Finishing up with the driver's side little bit of storage right there and then right there is a generator it is a Cummins Onan 4000 generator well Andrea the outside of this motorhome looks great but it looks even better on the inside 
Let's go take a look. Please be careful not to trip over your shoelace. Andrea. Yes. In her head, she's saying that out loud, but in her head today, she hopes that I do trip on my shoelace today. No, he was yelling at his shoelace just a few minutes before and calling it names, so. All right, here we are inside. As you can see, look at the walkway with the slide in. Yep. Full wall slide. Plenty of room to get to the bathroom. Oh yeah. And the bed is still accessible when with the slide in, so I like yes. that. Great, so while the slide outs are coming out, if you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video to. And we thank each and every one yes, of you. Yes, absolutely. Great, power was low, but Andre, we did it, we accomplished it, we got the whole slide out up. Now do a 360. This is a very spacious, small sure motorhome, Andrea. Look at that. Very nice. Great, so up front in the cockpit area, this is your Chevy 4500. It's so funny. Andrea, we say this every time. This is the cheaper alternative, but I like it, you know? It, it does well for these small, small, lightweight motorhomes. Why don't you sit in that passenger seat? Oh, oh yeah. You know, you got plenty of plenty space as the passenger. This is not a bad chair, it's it, pretty comfortable. It's, it's not, and then if you notice those yellow tabs, uh, both of these <gasps> seats do swivel to become part of the living area. That's awesome, because without having a sofa, that's perfect. Yep, absolutely. Love that. Cool. The bunk over the cab holds 350 pounds. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, it's not, Never mind. I thought the ladder. Oh. Dang on it. <laughs> We're having the best day ever, huh, Andrea? Yeah. You know what's great about today? Yeah. We'll laugh about it tomorrow. Yes. Oh, I love that it has the safety, the seatbelt things there. Yes, seatbelt safety With net. With the safety net. I love that. That's a great feature to have. Yep. You don't see that a lot. A nice bunk over the cab. And then you have your Furion TV right up there and it does swing out. I love that. Got a cubby up there with USB. Yep. Now, an coming opening, around. An opening for a fan if you want to have one put in. Yep. Now, over here in the living room dinette area, you have the U-shaped dinette. This is iconic to Coachman. I don't know why other people aren't doing it, but I'm a huge fan of the U-shaped dinette, you know? I like it, I like the cup holders there. It's in a nice corner seat where you can sit like this. And this does drop down to make a decent sized bed. Yes, and by the way, guys, check out the slide colors. Interesting, Interesting. right? Interesting, I like it. I don't, I, I do like the cup holders being there. And um, the table's kind of small, which is weird, but yeah, it is, but it's all good. And it does have blinds. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention. Look at this nice, huge window. Big window with the blinds yes. right here. Great. Okay. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is, wow, very inexpensive. $92,041 MSRP. Sale price, we only have it 25% off MSRP to $69,999 which is a pretty good price for what it is, but Andrea, yes, we can do a lot absolutely better. A lot better, because we've been seeing some big, a lot bigger discounts. Tell everybody how to get a better price. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962, or matsrvreviews at gmail.com. Andrea, let's continue this crazy video. Okay. Why don't you show everybody the All kitchen? right. All right, guys, so here we have two huge cabinets look nice. how big that is very nice it's crazy big and then we have a nice window here uh-huh kitchen window i love Check that out the counter right it's a little weird how it's, it's not a flush little strange that it's raised yeah um i do think but at least splash, it's not super high up right right the backsplash is interesting i do love the double sink uh-huh very nice we got a cabinet under here yep which with drawers oh drawers that's nice very nice and then we have a cabinet underneath the sink. Very good. And then we have a little microwave. That's a very little microwave. Yep. And a three burner cooktop with the 
plate glass cover. Nice. Electrical outlet. And then we have no oven and a drawer. Yep. Then you have your little uh, furnace right there. Nice. And then behind you. Look at this. Wait, you got the refrigerator. the refrigerator. Yep. Oh my goodness. Other side. Jeez, I'm just. Andre, what's today's date? Is today Friday the thirteenth or something? No, it's like we the, we going crazy today. Twenty third today, yeah. Okay. So what do we have? A two way. Yep, two way fridge runs off both propane and electric. Cold. Yep. I like it. I like that it has these handles. Or wait, no, no, that's not a two way fridge, is, is it? it? A three way? No, oh, I think it's the compressor fridge. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's just the compressor. I fridge. like that it, the handles are here. Yep. And then we have more cabinetry very nice interesting color of wood i like the color that it's light andrea yes i think the the council has spoken uh-huh i'm reading their minds sure in the future while they're watching this video live and today i don't know if it's you or i don't know if it's me i think you should just continue the whole video all oh, right because i'm a little um scrambled brain i'm gonna do the bedroom yep because we're here keep on so, going all right look at this bed this yep. is strange i haven't seen this before actually i've never even seen a headboard like this wow classy uh-huh we have a queen size definitely different it's very firm but what i do like is how you can still use it with the slide out in yeah definitely that's that's a big Big plus for sure. Nice, nice cabinets. Four cabinets, very nice. And we do have. And I like the window right by the yes. bed. And you have a window over here too, which is great. Yep. Lots of light in here. You have a wardrobe right here. Oh look, it's got little shelves. Holy back smokes! There. Look at that. That's a big wardrobe. I Open know. the bottom. Oh drawers. Wow! Look at those drawers. Look. Very nice drawers. And you get a the big one here. So you get six drawers. Yeah. That's great. Very nice and big. I like that. Okay, so I suppose somewhere over here you could mount the TV if you wanted to, but I guess you wouldn't really need to because that does swivel. So you could Yeah, but you could, it. yeah. And then here we go with the bathroom. All right. Let's see. Go oh. ahead. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. Oh my. Oh me, oh my. For dead lizards. Hold on. Last time I did a bathroom review. <laughs> uh huh. All right, look at this. Plenty of space. Look, I love the LED light here. Oh, nice. Um, nice shower head. You know, it's a small shower. Small motorhome. But yeah, I mean, you got plenty of space to do your business in here. Yep. I like the cabinet here. Okay. Cute. And then we have a, you know, if you want to add the. Fantastic fan. Yep. Towel holder. Towel holders. And then the toilet. Well, here's the oh. sink. Listen, I don't care if I don't feel good. I'm, I'm still, I'm still doing the this, toilet test. The sink is nice. Yep, very nice. And then you have another cabinet. All right, Andrea. Electrical outlet. You're not gonna like that toilet. I don't can tell, tell you now. Don't tell me what I'm gonna like and not like. <sighs> I know you. <laughs> I do not like this toilet. I told this you. is horrible. Look at this. It's freaking digging to my side. You know. Failed. Plastic. Failed. What was the cargo carrying capacity? 3528. And you couldn't give me a porcelain toilet, bro? And a leprechaun. Come on, leprechaun. <laughs> leprechaun. Great. Well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before you guys leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? I'm going to do three things we like about it. Okay. Okay. You go first. So what I'm going to start with is kind of interesting. I actually like the colors in here as far as the wood goes. Uh-huh. I think it looks nice. Well, you know what I'm noticing? Um. This is called a leprechaun, and it's the same colors as the leprechaun, but it's not quite the same build quality of right. a leprechaun. But it's like they took, it's like they took a Freelander and used the leprechaun colors and called it a leprechaun. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, I agree. And you know what I really love about, I do love the U-shaped dinette. Well, That's hang on, hang on, hang features. on, hang on. You, you keep doing that, you keep merging them. So one is the colors. Yes. Two is the U-shaped dinette. Yes. Because I 100% agree with you. I love the U-shaped dinette. That's something that's real iconic to Coachman yes. and not everybody's doing. Absolutely. So that's two, and then three? Three, I will say, 
Even though I'm not a fan of the way the bed is set up, uh -huh. I like that they have it where it's accessible, like you can get to it with the side closed. Yes. And I love when it's opened up how you have so much room to walk around. Yes, 100% agree. Because in small motorhomes like this, Whenever it has the slides, the fed beds yes. always fold up. Exactly. Yep. And so we don't like the fold up beds. Nope. So yeah, do I like how it's angled like that? No, but I like how it doesn't fold up in yes. half. I will say that. Right. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this motorhome. Bum bum bum. Uh oh. <laughs> We're going in the bathroom. The whole damn bathroom. The whole dang thing I don't like. It's a shame. It's a plastic toilet, doesn't need to be. They could have did a and porcelain. And it's at a bad angle. Could have did a porcelain for sure. That's that's one, okay? Andrea? I am going to say I am very, uh, a little bit upset that there's not a convection oven. Correct, um, or or regular oven. Or something. Yep, nope, know? I 100% agree. It's a small microwave. Exactly. They should have had an oven, and that's just, right. yep. I don't, I don't get that. Yep. And another thing I don't like, I don't like how little the table is. Yep, so that's three. Here's what I will say. I would like to add one more thing to the like list. I like how the seats swivel around yes, up front. I forgot about the, that. Yep, that's very rare in a small yes, motorhome like that, this. You know, because you don't have a sofa. So yep. that is, you have extra seating, which is great. And another thing I don't like, guys, is I don't like the ugly balances. Sorry. Oh. All right, so that's, Sorry. Four, that's four things we like and four things we don't like. Yes. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the review. Hopefully you didn't unsubscribe from us because this was not our, our best video. Uh, but we will have a video coming out tomorrow because of how today's video came out. So, um, <laughs> sorry, guys. Yep, we're sorry. We so, love you. Bing, look at our puppy. Bing. <laughs> puppy time. Great. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or Matt's RV Reviews uh, at com. Andre, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you don't like. I do know, I, I know Coachman does read the comments. Yep. Also, uh, just go easy on me, guys. I, it wasn't all me today. Like, I'm a little bit tired and cranky. It was, so. how, it was my fault, too. <laughs> so, sorry about that, but we'll we'll get there. And also, if you haven't got your uh, official Matt's RV review sticker, Bing. Bing, make sure you go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Andre, close it out. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.